I messed up, Frank, but I'd done my time. They shouldn't keep on punishing me. Some folk won't let go, Reese, and they've got nothing better to do than to poke their noses into other people's business. There's nothing you can do about it, son. I'm doing a good job. I'm working hard. I swear, Mrs. Graves thinks I'll start nicking stuff if she turns her back for a second. This is all right. She's one of the good ones. Yeah, well, she's not exactly honest with her husband about what she gets up to. None of that. You're angry about people judging you. Don't be so fast to judge others. I'm sorry, Frank. Keep your gob shut, your nose clean, and your head down. Do you think you can manage that? Gob, nose, head. Got it. And steer clear of that Rachel girl. If I've seen you two making eyes at each other, then so's her dad. And you don't want Sam Baker coming round after you. Now, pass me that socket spanner and we'll see if we can get this wheel back on. All the power spiked with the last discharge and then went out again, and I could see the aurora dancing around Tower 6. At the same time, the headache intensified, and I think I began to hallucinate. Old and new memories are clashing and tumbling around me. <laughs> We're on the cusp of a breakthrough. I can feel it. Abyss, Graham. Morning, Frank. You look a little out of breath. What's up? Bloody observatory gates have failed. I came to see if I could borrow a ladder. Bloody hell, there's a 12-foot drop the other side of that wall. I'm old, but I'm not useless. Now, can I borrow the ladder? No one said you were useless. Reese? Hi, Frank. Fetch Graham the ladder, will you, lad? It's round the side of the barn. Will do. And you be careful. I don't want Stephen Appleton coming mithering round here because you've broken your neck. What the hell are you doing? What are you up to? Get out of my way. This is important. You've been with Lizzie. You mess with her, I'll knock your bloody block off. I son. need to track the pattern. It's critical. What are you talking about, Stephen? People are sick. 
Birds are dying. My cows are dead. Where's Kate? Still up at the tower for all I know. I could recalibrate the radial coordinates on the primary oscillators. If that holds up... Stephen, where's Kate? What's going on? Just keep out of my way! He never mentions anything about them sickening yesterday. I checked them last night on the way back and they were fine. I woke up this morning and the whole lot had gone. Tell me, Charlie, have you heard any birds today? Well, I've not really been paying any attention. That sister of mine reckons they're dropping out the sky all round the reeking. And Dr. Wade reckons they're sick folk all over the village. Max said not to bother trying to get deliveries out. Set the quarantine in the whole valley. I reckon it's best we just sit it out. It'll all come right, Frank. This'll all come right? Yeah, right. I am sorry about your cows, Frank. But when things settle down, they'll see you all right. There's got to be provision for this sort of thing. You want to listen to the radio more? Things don't seem like they're settling down at all. I tell you, Charlie, something big is happening.
I hung up on Stephen. He doesn't understand. Even if he were here to experience it directly, I'm still not sure he would. <sighs> there has to be a way of consolidating, of offering reciprocal amplification to the signal. The radio telescope in Tower 6 is burned out. The background radiation coming in from the Penrose region is off the scale. It's like mathematics is bending along with the light. Everything is bathed in a strange glow. My face is still numb from the burn. <laughs> <laughs> 